Minnesota health leaders call the current spread of COVID-19 alarming. MDH reported more than 3,800 new cases today. That is a new daily record. Another 31 Minnesotans have died. The all-time high also comes with a dire warning. The health department says that ICU capacity in the metro is at 98%. Statewide, 92% of intensive care beds are full. And health officials expect to see 4,000 cases a day soon. Erin Hassanzada found out what happens when the hospitals reach their limits, and she joins us now. So, Erin, being close to 100% should be a concern to all of us. Yeah, the Minnesota Department of Health uh, commissioner put it this way. She said, think of this like a wildfire that is spreading. We've had these, you know, raging fires surrounding us in states like the Dakotas and Wisconsin, which broke its single day record with nearly 6,000 cases today. So this virus is looking for tinder. If it's the wildfire, it's looking for tinder to feed it, and it is finding it across the entire state of Minnesota. It has changed so quickly. I'll really just say since Friday. In Alexandria, Minnesota, Dr. Deb Dittberner's ICU is full and COVID patients keep showing up. Right now in Douglas County, we have 213 active cases. We're a small county, 213. We, we have been running about 80 to 110 active cases, which is a lot. Normally, Dr. Dittberner's hospital would send COVID patients to St. Cloud for more critical care. But this morning, the ICU beds were full there, too. We're trying to get them to a higher level of care when we can. But it's tight and uh, it's it's a real struggle in the emergency room trying to find beds anywhere in Minnesota. With 92% of the state's ICU beds full, this tight squeeze is something doctors are dealing with across the state. This is our fourth day now of more than 3,000 new cases in a day. And I'm afraid we need to brace ourselves for hitting 4,000 cases at some point in the very near future. MDH says the hot spots are in greater Minnesota and more specifically in western and central Minnesota. And with our state's positivity rate and daily case totals on the rise, hospitals face new challenges. We have the PPE now, but now we know the, the new critical um, part and piece of this is staffing. Dr. Dittburner says many in her circle feel more prepared to care for COVID patients now, but they hope you can help slow the spread in the little ways you can. I would plead to the public to help us. So what happens when or if ICUs across the state actually fill up, hit that 100% capacity? Some ideas being floated right now. You have healthcare workers work overtime in Alexandria. They've had to move around some of their staffing already. We talked about that in that interview. And then you look at shutting down or reducing elective surgeries and procedures again. We remember we did that at the beginning. We opened things back up. We may have to shut that back down. And MDH is even, uh, interestingly enough, looking at this dire scenario where they bring back exposed healthcare workers back into a non-patient serving capacity and they work in full PPE away from patients. Uh, they're still working on the guidance for this, MDH still is. But you saw it in my story, hospitals kind of running out of options, running out of places to pivot, and it's not just uh, popping up beds, it's a staffing issue as well, Frank and Amelia. All right, thank you, Erin.